Christ is risen, alleluia, alleluia. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Holy Rosary Church, Mary Mother of God Parish, as we gather to celebrate his rising from the dead that promises us a share in his divine life for all eternity. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind our own faults, failings, and sins, and ask for his gracious forgiveness and mercy. Jesus, you are the way. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you are the truth. Christ, have mercy. Jesus, you are the life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that being rightfully conformed to the Paschal Mysteries, what we celebrate in joy may protect and save us with perpetual power. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and Presbyters, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The apostles and the presbyters, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia, of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number who went out without any mandate from us have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind, we have, with one accord, decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey this same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, <clears throat> namely, to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of these, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival in Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation. The word of the Lord. I will give you thanks, O Lord, among the peoples. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will wake the dawn. I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations. For your mercy towers to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Above all the earth be your glory. <clears throat> Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. Says the Lord, 
for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, this is my commandment, love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you. And appointed you to go and bear fruit that will last. So whatever you ask the Father, in my name, he may give you. The command I give you is love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. The Mother Goose cartoon this morning, uh, Mother Goose is at the doctor's office and she has kind of a rash on her shoulder and she said, Doctor, what's the difference between an itch and an allergy? He said, oh, about 300 bucks. <laughs> I hope we have more itches than we have allergies. <laughs> So the, uh, the church is beginning to grow, as we heard in that first reading today. And they're sending messages to Antioch and so on, telling them of all the successes they're having and building up the church. And, and uh, everybody is being encouraged to continue to follow Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. And the gospel today, rather short again, uh, Jesus brings up two terms that maybe we should kind of keep in mind. One is a servant or a slave, and one is a friend. It says, I no longer call you slaves or servants or students, as he began to call them when he began his ministry, because he says, a slave or a servant or a student doesn't know everything that his master has to convey to them yet but I have conveyed everything I have heard from my Father to you. So you're no longer a student, you're no longer a slave, you're no longer a servant. You are my friend. I have placed my confidence in you to hear what I have had to say during these last three years. I have placed my hope in you that when I am no longer with you, you will follow through and live the new way to live as I have taught you, to obey the commandment of love, to love one another as I have loved you. That's one of the stipulations for friendship. The other one is, it says, I'm going to lay down my life for you. In the time of Jesus, to lay down your life for someone else was the greatest act of friendship that could ever be uh, uh, exonerated. So he says, I, in, 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 within 24 hours, I will be placed upon the wood of the cross and my life will drain from my body. But I do this because of you. 
for love of you, for the remission of your sins, so that you may have hope of eternal life with me, you and all who would believe in me. You are all, not my servants, not my slaves, or even my students, you are my friends. So, to have the knowledge that he imparted to them over this period of ministry, and then to be able to offer his own life in behalf of theirs on the wood of the cross, friendship, friendship, friendship. And friendship comes at a great cost because we, we, that someone says, you know, if you have one good close friend in life, you're very fortunate. Many times, I know in the past when I would um, cons- uh, instruct uh, marriage, people for marriage and so on, I said, you say you love one another, that's wonderful, but are you friends with one another? Your, your partner, your wife, your spouse has to be your very best friend, which means that you are completely honest with them. You share everything with them, and you're even able to give up your life for them if you had to. Friendship is such a great part of marriage relationship as it is with God's covenant relationship with us. God gave up his life for us. Would we be willing to give up our life for him? Many martyrs have, not only of the old church, but of present day circumstances. Because they're living the Christian life and bringing the good news to others, many have sacrificed their lives for Christ. So today then, servantship and friendship, where do we stand? We pray that we will certainly be the friends of God today and forever. May I invite you to stand now together. Let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Lord, knowing that he hears and answers all of our prayers. For Pope Francis and for all ministers of the church, may they lead by listening to the unheard and marginalized voices in our church. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For civic and governmental leaders, May they work to satisfy the needs of the most vulnerable among them. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially P.J. Noon, for whom this Mass is being offered. May they be at peace with God. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that we will always be friends with the Lord our God. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. We turn to our Blessed Mother in her friendship with us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. the mystery of this water and wine. And we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in your hands and made it will become for us 
the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through our goodness we have this wine to offer for the divine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask that you receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humbled and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. And let us as friends of the Lord stand and pray that your sacrifice and mine will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Praise the glory of his name, our good and good of all his holy truth. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, a duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, O Lord. But above all, in this time of Easter, when you yet more gloriously, when Christ has passed, our Passover has been sacrificed, by the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of the old covenant to fulfillment and the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you and our salvation, for our salvation, uh, showed himself to be the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts together sing with unending hymn of your glory as we all acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time he was betrayed and entered villainy into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice of us for giving thanks, handed it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks for have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, all of the blessed apostles and saints and martyrs who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. And may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Not as servants or slaves, but as friends, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles and friends, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you this morning. Let us celebrate our friendship in Christ by offering a sign of his peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold our divine friend, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are we this morning who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
crucified, is risen from the dead, and has redeemed us. Alleluia. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring our Lord that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us joyfully go as friends in the peace of Christ. Thank you all. Have a nice day today.